Hold on, you ready? so warm, you know? It's like, imagine a spirit coming into you, another spirit, really, like an angel, like really warm feelings, you know? The angel just comes into you, and it's warm feelings just wrap around you, wrap his wings around you, and it's like, warm. Mm, content. Very content. Yeah. It's the evening. It's a nightmare, a complete it's nightmare. Nice. It's the worst job in the world. Worst job, no doubt about it. It's it's evil, absolutely evil. It'll make you do. It could make you do desperate things, absolutely is, desperate. Is there You're anything doing. that you can relate it to, like that a person that's never taken drugs would be able to understand, like the f that need for water, like a thirst or something like that? Or? Um. It's, not really like a first, it's more, you know, it's, it's an illness, it's take the worst flu you've ever had in your life, times it by a hundred, and you're almost getting near what withdrawal's like, it's, it's hell. But the thing is with this, hundred times flu, is that all you need is ten pound and it's gone, and you'll be feeling lovely, okay. you'll be feeling yourself better than yourself. Lively, absolutely makes me more confident than what I usually am. Without it, you know, just like too sketchy. You know? mm -hmm. But heroin just makes me warm. Confident. What sort of like physical effects does it have? Does like does it give you like a dry mouth or does it affect nah. your like your heart rate? Nah, not really. No, nah, not for me. Nah. It just makes me feel normal. I did a shot of heroin and I hadn't been out of camp for ages and I went for a long run and I ran, ran and ran and ran and ran and I wasn't even feeling tired, not tired at all, I was just, I was just bouncing, trying to get your veins pumped up. With heroin, what you get is you inject, by the time, usually if it's good stuff, by the time you finish your syringe, you can feel it in yourself. Oh, nice. It's really nice. And you get that lovely warm feeling. And, and then it just slowly fades off and you just feel normal. And then... It's so just it's like, basically like a transcending sort of feeling, like consistent. It slowly, things. slowly wears off, you know. I don't mind because I'm an easy going person. I don't mind hanging out with all sorts of people. Are they just sort of I wouldn't normally associate with them, no, nah, to be honest. I thought it was another heroin. But, you know, I am on heroin. And even when I was off the heroin, I still, you know, you build up a relationship with someone, you know what I mean? And you become friends, you know? It's more than just a. than just a. business thing, you know? It's. It's also a friendship. What about the people in your life that were with you before you started taking care of them? How, how has it affected your relationships with those people? I've lost a lot of friends. Yeah, a lot of my older friends who used to take me camping. And, you know, I've totally, totally lo lost them. How does that make you feel? 
a bit sort of I don't know, abandoned. Do you feel quite suicidal a lot? Yeah. Yeah. But heroin, when I'm on a heroin I don't. Not so much. I still do. I still do, but it's not because of the heroin, it's more because of, you know, the state of my life, you know, not having no money and heroin is one of the causes of me not having much money at the moment, you know. But it's also a cause of you. It's also makes me feel better, you know? If I didn't have no money and didn't have no heroin, it'd be even worse. If you could stop taking heroin tomorrow and not experience any withdrawal symptoms, would you do it? If there was no withdrawal? Yeah. Mm. I would... <clears throat> I wouldn't stop doing it completely, but I would I'd do it only when I could afford it. You know? So you, I, would you... I would treat myself when I could afford it, you know, I'd have a tin bag here and a tin bag there. If I'm going out on a Friday, Saturday night, I'll take a couple of bags before I go, you know? So you basically Just to give me that like little a boost. In your life, it, it's, it's something I would love to be able to do at random, like, like smoking weed, but unfortunately it's, it's a full time thing. Yeah. It's a full time habit. You're in or you're out with heroin. There is no, there is no in between. There is no take it or leave it.